And we're at the rinse the ambulance off. This broke ankle is like horrible. <laughs> it's got blood all over the ambulance. What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're back at it in Emerge NYC and today we've got a call for a, uh, a rescue call for a worker that has fallen uh, down in a hole in a construction site. So we're heading that way and uh, we'll see what we got there. We're in, uh, also we're in squad one. Now we had a viewer request the other day for um, for a, a, a spare squad unit and I'm assuming it was on the Brooklyn map because that's where the comment was left but I can't find like a spare on here so I took one uh, one isn't actually like assigned to this map he's off map somewhere but uh, we got one we'll say uh, 252 is maybe um, maybe 252 is is uh, working another call or something I don't know so we're in one, and uh, it's a pretty sharp truck too. Actually, I like the uh, I like the look of it there. Very nice. It's a little different from the other ones. All right, let's see if we can get down here. It's a little different. To uh, okay, yeah, we're heading the right way. We've already got a huge response already. There's multiple trucks here, uh, multiple ladders. Uh, everyone's pretty much responded. So. I think what we're going to do is go around to the other side. It's got a little better access uh, from what they say, from what the, they radioed in, we can get better access to the uh, patient from the other side. So go ahead and turn that down. All right, anyway, I hope you guys are having a great Thursday. Uh, it'll be Friday before you know it. Looking forward to this weekend. Let me know in the comments if you got any plans or anything uh, for this weekend. I don't think we do. I think we're uh, I think we're staying home this weekend. All right, let's see. We'll park here right behind R2. Man, I'm looking forward to that rescue update. That's going to the rescue trucks are going to be so much fun. At that point, they really just are. We're going to be able to do so much uh, with those trucks. So R2's already here. I mean, honestly, he's probably got most of everything taken care of, but. We're going to do this from squad one. All right, let's grab a uh, EMS bag because I feel certain we're going to need that. The dude's fallen. And uh, let's head over there. Let's see uh, what we can find. Nice construction site. I've never been in here before. Never done this. A lot of rock. Man, it's going to be a pain to get a stretcher down in here, right? And we don't have a, uh, a basket to carry the person in. So that could be, that could be a problem, right? Let me know uh, how you guys would do this. I, I don't know of a basket being available. I mean, if there is, then uh, I've never used it. All right, let's see here. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, yeah, his legs are all kind of jacked up. All right, let's let's uh, let's start checking dude out and see. Excuse me, sir. What is, uh, you know what? Let's see what his name is first. Now, they should probably already provide that information to us. Right, interactions and the name. What is his name? Uh, Johnny Gr Getty? Johnny Getty? Is that what it is? We'll just call him Johnny. We'll call him Johnny. All right, Johnny. What's your problems? Let's see what's uh, going on with Johnny here. Uh, spinal neck injury. Uh, heart rate 68. All right, he's got a, a good heart rate. There's no surprise on a spinal injury because he just landed on a bunch of rocks. So he's probably really jacked up. Uh, 79 uh, over 119. Uh, I think those are listed wrong. I think it should be 119 over 79. I think that's above listed. At least he had a hard hat on when he uh, when he fell. Uh, possible neck, uh, spinal neck injury. Okay, yeah. All right, we, uh, we get that. Uh, let's see. A little better view here. Uh, I wonder if I can do it this way, maybe. Uh, let's look at his head. Uh, he's got difficulty breathing. He's got spinal fluid leaking from his left ear. He's got fixed pupils. Uh, he's semi-conscious. His breaths per minute are eight. That's not good at all. And his temperature is 98, so he's having a little difficulty breathing. Uh, 
Got his chest here. I mean, if you think about it, you could be there could be all kind of injuries as a result of this fall. There really could. There could be a ton of different things going on with this guy. If I could just get around to it, this hammer is killing me. I can't I can't like come on. Alright, let's do this. Let's get rid of this stuff. Maybe this will There we go. All right, now let's check his chest out. Let's see. Uh, slurring words. He's got several broke ribs. Okay, that's, yeah, that's expected to. Uh, his abdomen is rigid. He's got severe bruising. Uh, breast per minute, eight. His temperature is 98. Uh, could have some pelvic injuries as well, too. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, what about his legs? His legs definitely, they look really jacked up. Wow, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Looks like his head and his chest took all the fall then. Okay, so uh, we've got uh, broke ribs, several broke ribs, so we've probably got a lot of internal injuries. Uh, his abdomen is rigid, so it means he's got internal bleeding. Uh, he's got a neck spinal injury. He's got uh, spinal fluid leaking from his ear. Uh, his pupils are fixed, indicates a brain injury. So yeah, this dude's got a lot of things going on with him right now. All right, so uh, what we want to do, uh, starting out here, let's see. I definitely put him in a sea collar and since he's uh, having trouble breathing let's uh, let's go ahead and intubate him and let's uh, start giving him uh, rescue breaths okay we'll do that and what else we got right, it gives us the option to uh, put him on a vent but I just, I don't see like a squad being able to do that. I don't see them having that ability. I, I think that would be an EMS thing. Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments if you guys know for sure. But I really think that's more of an EMS thing. Uh, you know, this is a point where we like really need a backboard big time. Like we need a backboard to put this guy on. Uh, that would be crucial. And we just, we don't, we don't have that ability, which is really kind of surprising. I, I mean... Uh, I, I thought a backboard would probably be a given, right? Uh, there's nothing. We don't need to put a tourniquet on anything. We can't splint broken ribs. Uh, that's really like the lesser of the issues right now. Uh, I really think we've done just about all we can at this point. Uh, we'll have to call in a, uh, an ambulance and uh, let the paramedics kind of take over. All right, let's go ahead and get those guys called up. All right, paramedics are here. We've taken that role real quick, which is really cool that you can jump around on uh, different roles and that kind of thing. We're gonna take the stretcher down there. That's really far-fetched to me, uh, taking it, uh, taking it down in that hole with all those rocks, but we really, we don't like have any other choice. And this is probably gonna be a huge pain, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. We'll contend, we'll, we'll pretend that this is like a big, huge basket or a, a backboard or something, because uh, I really, I just, I don't know what, what to do. This, this rescue light technically would probably be a really big deal. Like I, I see them going down in here with like, uh, hard hats and stuff like that. We'll just do what we can do. Hopefully when the rescue update comes out, uh, it'll offer a lot more stuff, uh, that we can do with this. The backboard is very important. Uh, the basket, I know the basket's in the rescue update. I saw that. A, a backboard would be really really super cool for this kind of stuff especially like any kind of injury thing like his car wrecks uh falls you know any of that stuff be most definitely be needed this is area where it's going to be kind of a pain but i think we'll be all right maybe possibly see right here okay let's uh let's take the stretcher and uh yeah actually let's uh Let's drop it here and then lower it. There we go. Okay. Uh, now we need to load the patient, right? Very, lay patient on back. Stretcher, what do we got here? Move patient, recline. Okay, this, let's move the patient to the stretcher. Oh no, what the, <laughs> what the hell is it? And he, what? <laughs> He's waving at us. Dude, no, you need to lay down. Okay, dude. Seriously, uh, come on, really? <laughs> oh, no, he's recovered. He's made a miraculous recovery. Uh, the, 
Oh man, this is just going all kind of sideways. <laughs> it really is. What is? Ah, uh, no. What are you doing, dude? Well, at least he's on a backboard now, so that's good. Uh, damn it. I don't know what to do now. I really don't. This is all kind of going haywire. <laughs> I love how he's standing there waving at us. Like I'm okay, guys. I'm good. <laughs> good here. Uh. We're going to pretend that didn't happen, so... Uh, I can't get the uh, options to pull up. There we go. Okay, so uh, medications. Uh, we could give them Tylenol. We could give them Aspirin. Really surprised that we can't give them Morphine. Like, this dude just fell down in a hole. Can't give him any. Alright, let's look at uh, treatments. Okay, uh, definitely push fluids because he's got all kind of internal uh, injuries. And let's uh, now we'll put him on a vent. We'll do that. I don't know how in the hell we're going to get him out of here with him sideways like that. Uh, we'll monitor his vitals. Let's see what his vitals looks like now. Uh, his respirations are uh, rest per minute or uh, not bad. Eight uh, twenty. That's pretty good. Uh, his heart rate is 61. His O2 is 80%. That's uh, that's all right. I mean, that's not great, but so considering he's got a lot of uh, broke ribs, that's probably far for the course. Okay. Um, damn it. I don't know. Like, we're just going to have to try to go the best we can here. I really, I don't know how to like reorient this dude. And it's telling me to. Like I can't even grab the stretcher. Grab the stretcher. All right, let's raise it. Now we got it. <laughs> I guess we're taking him out sideways. Ah, uh, no. I don't know how we're gonna do this with all this damn gappling and stuff in here. This is gonna be bad. Dude may be just stuck down here. We may have to, uh... Uh, come on, we can do it. Let's get through. Yeah, uh, we got it. We almost got it. Almost. Starting to sound like Schwarzenegger. I'm like, guy, uh, <laughs> guy, get to the chopper. <laughs> Let's get him. Come on. We made it. Wow. I'm really surprised. I didn't think that was going to happen, but uh, this is totally not legit. But. Uh, you do what you, you know, you do what you can in the uh, emerging YC world. Do what you can. Look at there. Look at there at R2. That's a really cool truck. And uh, Squad 1. That's a pretty badass truck, too. All right. Well, we got him out of there. Um, let's bring him over here to the uh, ambulance. We'll check him over one last time. And then put him in. Okay, let's uh, let's just drop it here. Let's just drop it. It's <laughs> let's just drop it. Never mind. Uh, let's check his vitals. One more. Well, I can't check his vitals now. There we go. His vitals are one more time. Oh, uh, it's want me to examine him now. Oh, it's so finicky. It's so finicky with this stuff. Uh, I have no damn clue what his blood pressure is. Like I. Who knows? Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe it's okay. Maybe it's not. All right, let's uh, let's close you out. Right, there we go. Okay. You know what? Let's just load them up and go. Let's just let's load them up and go. We need to go. I don't see this getting any better. All right, let's do this. Let's uh, return to stretcher. <laughs> no. Oh man, at least his head isn't sticking out. So uh, only a little bit of the backboard is clipping out. Okay, all right, let's close this up and uh, let's get on our way. You get this dude to the hospital. He's got a lot of injuries. I see some of our trucks didn't arrive. Okay. 
All right, we're gonna run this guy to the hospital and uh, we'll leave off with that and maybe we can do one more, uh, one more call. All right, we're back on squad one. We're heading to a uh, accident scene. A bicyclist has been hit by a bus. Supposedly they're under it, but I think they're out from under the bus now. Uh, rescue two is there. Uh, engine two, three, four, and one ladder one, two, three are there as well. So we're going to respond and uh, help check this guy out and see what we can do and uh, get him to the hospital. It, it doesn't sound like it's too good. All right, here we are, coming up to the scene already. All right, let's see, where can we go? Oh, look at there, got a bunch of bystanders already. There's uh, Rescue 2. Okay, we'll just park here. That'd be good. All right, let's grab an EMS bag. That's going to be cool with the rescue update. Uh, with these kind of accidents, like if the person's actually under the bus, then uh, we'll actually use uh, blocking and stuff like that and airbags to uh, raise the bus and get them out from under it. Oh, man. What a mess. <laughs> what a mess. All right, let's see what this dude's name is. Uh, interaction. Uh, name. What is your name? Uh, Darren. There, I never can read the last names. Like this writing is like prescription writing. I can't, I can't ever read it. Uh, Mar, uh, Mar, Marcius, maybe. Darren, we'll just go with Darren. Darren, dude. Darren, can you hear me? How you doing? All right, let's see. Let's get down here. Let's check his head. Uh, his head, breast per minute, 18. Uh, temperature's 98. Okay, well he's breathing pretty good. That's pretty average. Uh, blood pressure is 100 over 60. That's that's not bad. Uh, what's injured? What is his problem? Right upper arm is okay, I guess. Nothing out of the ordinary on his feet. Dude, what's going on with you? Uh, his hip, his, his hip's okay. I would imagine definitely a pelvic injury being hit by a bus, but uh, I don't know. we got here nothing out of the ordinary well then what's his problem his spine is okay uh then what is his deal what's going on with you man that's not his neck that should be his chest be his chest chest uh yeah like this dude's like showing any kind of injuries i don't get it uh, obvious ankle deformity, scrapes, laceration, laceration, swelling, and bruising. Damn, that is a lot of blood for, for a broke ankle. Holy cow. That dude's ankle is probably like hanging by a piece of skin or something. Uh, going off all the blood. Okay, so what can we do for this guy? What can we do for Darren? Uh, I can't get the menu up. I always have that problem. I don't know why. What can we do? All right, we'll definitely put him in a seat collar as a precaution. You always do that. Um, we don't need it to, like his breathing is fine. I think we're good with that. We could splint his uh, broken bone. Uh, left arm, right leg, uh, left leg. That's going to be his left. Ah, uh, oh no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh no. Okay, let's, uh, you know what? Let's lay him out straight here. Uh, lay patient on the back. There we go. Okay, that's better. You gotta, you gotta lay him out first before you do that. Okay, so his uh, leg, it was his left ankle, right? All right, what can we give him as far as, uh, uh, really, no morphine. I am so surprised. I guess that's a paramedic thing, though. I imagine firefighters don't carry, uh, I, you know, I mean, if they don't carry morphine, they shouldn't carry epi either, but what do I know? All right, uh, let's check him over one more time. Yeah, it looks like he's just got a broke ankle. Yeah, I think it's just like, 
Damn, with all this blood, you think his uh, femoral artery is like severed or something? <laughs> Seriously. Bad. Okay, uh, I think we've got him ready to go. Let's uh, let's get an ambulance here. All right, well, supposedly the ambulance is on the way, but they haven't got here yet. You got his bike real quick. Yeah, he definitely got his bike jacked up a little bit there. Man, that is a lot of blood for a broke ankle. Dang it. Like, is that thing severed or what? What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, what else can we do while we wait here? I don't, I really don't think there's anything else we can do. Like, I think this is it. It's not even giving me a treatment option now. Uh, what is his chief complaint? Let's see. Trouble breathing, pain from burns. He must have a little road rash. He's got pain from burns and he's got a little road rash. All right, let's figure out like what's going on with this ambulance because I don't know. Oh, here he is. Nice. I was just fixing to jump in him and get him here manually. All right, let's go ahead and jump in the uh, FDNY dredge. And let's see. What are these? Do these doors open? Oh, yeah, they don't have anything. They, no. they just for looks. They one of these days, right? All right, let's grab the stretcher. Grab them again, and it will pull you over here. All right, drop. Lower. There we go. Sweet. Okay. All right, let's move the patients. Keep forgetting that's on the stretcher. Uh, the patient. There we go. Nice. Okay. This doesn't seem like that bad of a call. It sounded really bad, but uh, evidently... Um, wasn't ever under the bus, bus. Yeah, we don't get the morphine option. That is crazy. Like, I totally would have thought we would have had that. Um, yeah, we'll monitor his vitals because he has been hit by a bus. It's probably always good to go ahead and get an IV started as well, just in case uh, we have to push any kind of meds or anything on the way. I think that's pretty well standard. Like, the C collar and um, IVs, I think, is pretty much standard. Because you, know, you don't know, especially from like a serious accident. All right, um, what else can we do here? Uh, he doesn't need rescue for us. He's fine with that. Uh, let's check his vitals real quick. What do you look like, dude? Uh, his O2 is stat 99. His heart rate is 72. He's got 18 uh, respirations per minute. And I don't know what his blood pressure is. Uh, who knows? He's okay, though. If all his other stats are that good, then he's fine. So he's just got a broke ankle. Seriously, like, that's all that's going on with this dude. He just got a broke angle. Alright, put the stretcher. Grab stretcher. And let's wheel you over here. And put you in. There we go. Alright, load up. Load him up. Let's go. There we go. Alright, nice. Uh... This isn't my EMS bag. This belongs to the fire department. I'm gonna drop that right there for you guys. And we're gonna have to rinse the ambulance off. This broke ankle is like horrible. <laughs> it's got blood all over the ambulance. Okay, all right guys, that's gonna do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, love hearing from you guys always, and always really, really appreciate the, uh, the love and support that you guys have given. And uh, with all that said, we will catch you on the streets of Brooklyn next time. Peace.